morning everyone and welcome to another CESA and Total Sport collab. My name is Olivia Bloomer, I'm an intern biokineticist at CESA and I'm also a qualified yoga instructor and today we're going to be taking you through a 30 minute vinyasa style practice. So this, will, this class will be accessible to all levels so if you are a beginner please make sure you're listening up to the modifications I give and just in general listening to your body so if a particular pose doesn't feel good to you please make sure you either back off or you modify it to a variation that works for you. If you have any pre-existing medical conditions, recent surgeries or pregnancies, please make sure you have medical clearance before taking part in the class. Without any further ado, I'm going to get going. All we're going to need today is a mat and yourself and we can get started. We're going to start today's class in a seated position of your choice. So either cross-legged, you can choose how far away you want the feet, if you want them nice and close or a little bit further away if the hips are feeling a bit tighter this morning. And we're going to try and find some length in the spine. So choosing a posture that supports a lengthening in the spine and a bit of an opening in the chest. So almost think about rolling the shoulders back and down and trying to find length through the collarbone rounding through those sit bones and maybe you start to either close the eyes or take the gaze down, relaxing the space around the eyes, unclenching our jaw, releasing any tension in the temples or the forehead. And we're going to start today's class by taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling the lungs. And exhale, slowly sighing that out. And then just assuming again our natural way of breathing. With every exhale, trying to release the shoulders further away from the ears. signaling that we're setting aside this next 30 minutes to connect inwards with ourselves, to connect the mind, the body and the breath. Let's take another deep inhale through the nose and side out. One more deepest breath we've taken all day. Really inhale, lungs full. And side out nice and slow. Gently opening the eyes. And we can come into a four point kneeling position, taking the arms a little bit wider, so further away from the body, and tucking the toes. We're going to go straight into it, coming into our first downward dog. Now, this might feel a bit stiff and tight this morning, so maybe you want to pedal it out dropping alternate heels to the ground and really think of rotating the sit bones all the way to the ceiling. Let that head be heavy, we're not cramming the neck up. And breathing into those hamstrings. And then slowly walking the feet all the way to the top of the mat. And then when you get back to the top of the mat, make sure those feet are hip width distance apart. It's quite a generous bend of the knee just to start with. On an inhale, we're going to straighten up that upper back. Hands come to our shin as we halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward, bending in the knees, dropping the head. Let the arms hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten up, roll the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, forward fold. Interlacing the hands behind the back, and maybe you just stay here. But if you can, maybe dropping the arms up and over. This is a quite an intense shoulder opener, so if it's feeling too intense, you can always come a bit closer to the lower back with the hands. And slowly releasing that bind, grabbing hold of 
the elbows and just rocking from side to side. Really nice generous bend in the knee here. We don't want to completely lock out. And we're going to go into what people call sunflower pose. So keeping the hands by the elbows, I'm just going to roll onto my right side, coming all the way up so that my arms are framing my face. And then dropping all the way onto the left side, so creating a nice big circle. Other side, so this time coming up on the left, framing the face, and down on the right. It's a really nice side stretch. And when we get to the bottom, just hanging in a rag doll for another few seconds. And slowly bring those arms to the ground. I want you to bend, quite generously bend that left knee, planting the left hand on the fingertips and reaching up with that right hand and rotating the shoulders to the right. Getting quite a nice twist here. And if you're feeling quite supple this morning, maybe you start to straighten up that left leg. If not, keep a nice generous bend so you can rotate further here. Breathing into the stretch. And maybe you take your gaze up. Slowly bringing that right hand down to the floor, bending into the right knee now, planting the right hand onto the fingertips and reaching up with the left. So remember here, taking quite a generous bend in that right knee. And if you're feeling quite supple, then you can start to straighten up that right knee. But if you really want to open into the twist, keep that bend. Maybe taking the gaze up if the neck feels good doing so. slowly bring the left hand to meet the right. You're going to roll up through the base of the spine, stacking the vertebra one at a time. Head, shoulders come up last. Good, and coming back to center here, reaching up with the hands. Inhale to lengthen. And as we exhale, bending the arms, lean back, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, lift the hands up by the ears. And we're going to dive forward over the knees, over the thighs, sorry. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. And exhale, forward fold. Let's plant those hands and step back into a plank, either on your knees or on your toes. We're slowly going to lower to the ground, keeping those elbows tucked into the side. As we inhale, lifting halfway up, draw the shoulders away from the ears and our cobra. And exhale, forward fold, I mean, come to the ground. Pushing up onto the knees, tucking the toes and coming back into our down dog. Maybe you take a moment here to pedal it out. And then looking forward to the top of the mat, either hopping to the top or slowly walking like we did last time. Inhale to halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. One more inhale, halfway lift, really try and straighten up the spine from the base of the skull all the way to the tailbone. Exhale, forward fold. Taking the feet out, hip width distance apart, and maybe you interlace the hands behind the back, draw the shoulders away from the ears, and maybe the hands come forward, maybe they don't. And slowly releasing that bind, grabbing hold of the elbows, and we're going to rock just briefly from side to side. This time, starting our sunflower, coming up on the left, inhale, frame the face, and exhale, come down on the right. Other side, inhale, coming up on the right, Reaching up and exhale, coming down on the left. 
briefly rock here from side to side and slowly lower the hands this time bending into the left leg first planting that left hand coming up to the fingertips and reaching up with that right hand Maybe take the gaze out or straighten the leg, choosing your variation. And switching sides, bending right leg, reaching up with the left arm. Slowly releasing to the ground, let the head hang heavy as we roll up through the base of the spine. Coming up to standing, this time keeping our feet hip width distance apart, reaching the hands up to the ears, grabbing hold of the right wrist and bending over to the right. So you might feel a difference keeping the legs hip width versus keeping the feet together. Inhale brings us back up, changing the cross of the hands and bending over to the right side. Exhale, brings us back up, inhale, lift, reaching the hands up to the ceiling. And exhale, sigh it out as we cactus the arms, lean back. Inhale, reach the hands up. And we forward fold over. Once again, looking forward to the top of the mat, either hop, step, or jump to the top of the mat, choosing how energetic you feel today. Last one. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold. Reaching the hands up by the ears, bringing the palms together at heart center. Good, and we're going to step the feet out wide and change to face the long side of the mat this time. Feet are going to face out to the corners of the mat, so quite in a turn out. We're going to bend a little bit into the knees, make sure those knees aren't rolling in. We're pushing them out, activating in the glutes. Hand come, hands come to the knees. We're going to push that right shoulder in, roll the left shoulder out as we gaze over that left shoulder. Keep a nice steady breath. Let's change our sides, dropping the left shoulder in, right shoulder rolling back. And slowly coming back to center, straightening out the legs, reaching the hands up, coming to our star, spreading those fingertips, inhale. And as we bend the knees, bend the elbows, coming into our goddess. So really here, try and push out those knees, don't let them collapse in. Good, inhale. And we're going to exhale, side out, goddess. <sighs> Trying to get a little bit lower this time. Inhale, reach up to your star. Exhale, goddess. <sighs> Last one, inhale, star. And exhale, goddess. Interlacing the hands behind the back. And maybe folding over. If that doesn't feel good, keep the hands behind the back. Changing the feet so they face forward. And remember here, you could always have quite a generous bend in the knee if straightening doesn't feel too good. Slowly releasing the hands, planting our left hand and reaching up with our right hand, roll that right shoulder back and down. And changing sides, planting right hand, reaching up with the left. And releasing both sides. We're going to bend into our right leg and either coming up onto the toes or flat down onto the heels. 
I'm going to reach my left toe up to the ceiling, so turning it out and feeling a nice stretch in the inner groin. Good, and then walking all the way to the other side, bending into that left knee now. And coming all the way to the front of the mat, bending into the right knee. I'm going to turn to face the front of the mat, coming into my low lunge, so drop that left knee down, hands come to the ground. And I'm going to start to straighten up my right leg. And maybe if that doesn't feel great to straighten all the way, then you can keep the bend and maybe come up a little bit higher up onto the fingertips. So choosing your variation, try and scissor those hips with a little bit more weight into that right hip. Good, and coming all the way back into my low lunge and then turning to face the long side of the mat in my Skandasana. This time, maybe hands come to heart center and we transition to the other side without using the hands. So you can always stick to the variation we did last time, coming to the front of the mat, reaching the left toes up to the ceiling. And last one, coming to the back of the mat, right toes come up to the ceiling, bring the hands down, and then we're gonna come to a low lunge facing the back of the mat, so drop that right knee. Taking a moment here to sink in, and then start to straighten up the left leg now. Bring those left toes up to the ceiling, and remember the option to come onto the fingertips and to keep the bend in the knee. Slowly walking the hands back to our lower lunge, planting the hands and stepping back into a down dog. Really try to rotate the sit bones up to the ceiling and noticing how this downward dog feels compared to the one we took in the very first pose of the past today. Good, dropping the knees really nice and wide, big toes together as I melt my chest to the earth, elbows rest, head rest on the mat, and then maybe we bring the palms together and start to bend at the elbows, bringing the palms to the nape of the neck, just getting a little bit of a stretch in the triceps. Two more deep breaths here. And slowly lowering the hands. Start to activate and straighten the elbows. And we're gonna come to sitting a seated position. Legs out in front of us, bending in the knees and placing those feet on the ground. I want you to try and sit up nice and straight, so roll the shoulders back and down and keep some length in the collarbone as we reach the hands forward. We're gonna lean back here to our tipping point, so the point where you feel those abs starting to turn on. And this is the variation one of our boats. Variation two, you can start to lift the feet, making sure the shins are parallel. And variation three, you can even start to straighten out at the knee. So choosing where you want to be today, we're going to take two deep breaths here. And remember to keep nice and open in the chest. Last deep inhale. And exhale, releasing to the ground. Hands come behind the back. And my fingers are facing um, me. I'm going to ground through my heels and start to lift my hips up towards the ceiling. And if you can only lift a few centimeters from the ground, that's okay. But if you can, reach those hips up, coming into our reverse plank. Take two deep breaths here. Last 
last breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down. We're going to transition between the two poses nice and quickly. So inhale, lift up, come into our boat pose. And exhale, hands come behind, lifting the hips up. Reverse plank. Slowly lower down, coming into boat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And release. Coming into our reverse plank. Last inhale. And exhale. Slowly lowering those hips to the ground. Last reach the hands forward. And we're slowly going to roll back until we're lying down on the mat. Bending both knees to chest. I want you to bring the hands out to the sides so in a T position, palms facing up, and just dropping the knees off to that right side. If the knees don't reach all the way to the ground without that left shoulder blade coming off, that's okay. I'd rather want that left shoulder blade to be nice and grounded. Taking our gaze over to our left hand. Inhale. And exhale, bring that left hand to meet the right. Inhale, reaching the left hand out, back into our T. And exhale, bring, it, bring both hands together. Last one, reaching the left hand out. And just holding in this twist. Let the exhale guide your spine further into the twist. Breathing in and exhale, bring both knees to center, maybe reset before dropping the knees off to the left. Exhale, brings my right hand to meet my left. Inhale, brings my right hand back. Keep going, exhale, meet the hands. Inhale, reach out. Last one. And reaching out, taking my gaze over to my right hand. And just taking a couple of breaths in this pose. Contracting the abdominals, bringing both knees to chest and grabbing hold of the shins and maybe rock from side to side. And slowly let those feet reach to the ground. And we're going to go into our relaxation portion of the class. So if you need to get a jersey or a blanket or a pillow just to get extra comfortable you can do so now and just extending both legs out in front of you making sure that spine is nice and relaxed so you might want to shift around so you feel a nice neutral spine you can release into hands come to the side of the body and our palms face to the ceiling releasing into that shoulder joint Feet are hip width distance apart and my toes are just flopping naturally out to the side. Lightly closing the eyes. And like we did in the beginning of the class, taking an inhale through the nose and sighing it out, exhale, releasing the body. So this is the part of the class where we process a 
the body is just done. And you take a moment to reconnect with our breath. Check in to the quality of the thoughts in the mind. And just slow down for a second. briefly just taking both hands to the belly lightly touching feeling the gentle rise as we inhale hands come apart and exhale the belly will slowly fall Taking a couple of moments here to notice the role of the belly in our breath cycle. And then moving the hands up they placed onto the rib cage, feeling the expansion on our inhale and contraction on our exhale. taking one hand on the belly, keeping one hand on the ribcage and just feeling the body breathe as a whole. Feeling the breath get slower and deeper. And then just slowly releasing the hands the side and taking a couple of moments here just naturally breathing in our own rhythm. Slowly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes, bring some movement, movement back into the body, maybe moving the ankles and the wrists around in circles. Reaching both hands up and interlacing the fingers as we try and lengthen, 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 so point the toes, reach those fingers up, inhale, and side out, exhale, release. Rolling onto our left side and using our right hand to push us up into a seated position. Ending off our class the way we started. So in a nice straight spine, seated posture. We'll take one last deep inhale through the nose, closing the eyes. And let's exhale, side out. Gently opening the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, everyone. Please take a moment to check out the schedule for this week with our CESA and Total Sport classes. There's lots to come. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Namaste.